ഹരാപ് നമസ്കാരം മുത്ര ശ്രീ ആദിനാഥായ നമോസ്തു തസ്മൈ ഏനോപദിഷ്ടാഹടയോഗവിദ്യാജതെ പ്രോന്നതരാജയോഗം ആരോടുമിച്ചോരതിരോഹിണീ വാ ഓ ശാന്തി 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 so in hatha yoga pratipika chapter 3 we will discuss about bandhas and mudras so here first we will see about the mudra so mudra is basically the hand gesture it's not only hand gestures body gestures then hand signals seal uh, the meaning is gesture or the seal so here uh, what it means is it's a flow of energy in particular direction it is related to some Uh, emotional devotional or the psychic attitudes so uh, particular get, gesture it has some particular meaning so mudras are basically a rela- uh, it has the relationship between the and uh, anandamaya pranamaya and manomaya goshas when we do the uh, mudras it has impact on the particular goshas so here in atha yoga pratipika we have around 12 main mudras out of 12 uh, the mainly we are discussing about the 10 so in giranda samhita we have around the 25 mudras so we'll see why mudra what is the use here so when we use the mudra it is uh, for example hand mudras so it is a physical movements when we do this particular mudra it has some impact on the annamaya kosha physical impact Uh, manomaya kosha our mood it it will change then pranamaya kosha the breath the prana how it is uh, going up and down it has impact all these things so here uh, when we use the mudra uh, we can send this particular prana to one direction to particular direction that is the flow of energy so mainly mudras are used in the three different areas like in dance we can say uh, while e- e- expressing the emotions we use bodily gestures that is one type of mudra so in rituals the, while performing the rituals the, they use some hand gestures in hatha yoga we have this around 10 main mudras where it has impact on the mind to stabilize our mind so here uh, they also mentioned uh, to alter the state of consciousness uh, when we use this mudra it has impact on our own consciousness so next uh, mud- in hatha yoga hatha yoga pratipika we have around 12 mudras maha mudra maha bandha maha veda yoga mudra vipati 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 viparita karani vajroli satta chalani കേശരി മുദ്ര യോണി മുദ്ര ഉഡിയാന ബന്ധ ജലധര ബന്ധ മൂല ബന്ധ സോ ഔട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ട്വൽ വി ആർ മെയിൻലി ഫോക്കസ്ഡ് ഹിയർ ഇൻ അത്തെ യോഗ അപ്പാർട്ട് ഫ്രം ദിസ് യോഗ മുദ്ര ആൻഡ് യോണി മുദ്ര റിമൈനിങ് ടെൻ മുദ്രാസ് ആർ ഡിസ്കസ്ഡ് സോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ബന്ധ സോ ബന്ധ Uh, when we discuss mudra it is a uh, sending the uh, flow of energy in particular direction but in case of bandhas here we are locking the prana it, if it is, for example if it is going upward when we hold this bandha uh, we we are forcefully sending the prana to a particular direction so this kind of locking the energy or to hold the prana here uh, so here the partic- the aim of this mandha is uh, to lock the flow of uh, prana in certain areas redirecting the flow of prana through sushumna nadi so this uh, ultimate goal here is to awakening of the kundalini so for that we are uh, uh, redirecting the energy so that it will open the ida and ping- pingala nadi then it will reach to sushumna nadi that is the main purpose that and that is what uh, channelizing the prana to all three this uh, main nadis so bandhas we are not doing we are not uh, separately doing bandhas and mudras it, it's all together so bandhas are incorporate with the mudras 
while doing the pranayama also in particular uh, practices we are using bandhas and mudras together so first we will see about the maha mudra so this is the royal gesture in maha mudra i'll explain with this image so in maha mudra we are basically uh, using all three bandhas uh, mula bandha abdominal Udiyana Bandha and Jaladara Bandha. So, the, uh, how to perform? The steps to perform, first we have to sit in leg, legs stretched one leg. For example, take a left leg. Then we have to uh, bend the ref, left leg and uh, till the knee to the right, right leg. Then it uh, our left leg heel should be touched with the perineum. Then slowly we have to bend forward then uh, hold the toes with the both hands. Big toe we have to hold. That time we have to um, engage the Moola Bandha. After that uh, we have to uh, apply to Udiyana Bandha. Then uh, bend forward. Head should bend forward. Then touch the uh, throat chin lock. We have to engage Jalandara Bandha. So here that is why it is called Maha Mudra. We are uh, uh, doing all three mudras here. So here, this benefit of this maha mudra is mainly uh, diseases uh, of the stomach is uh, then seminal weakness, obstruction of the stool, urine, and the indigestion and skin dishes. All these are benefits. So we have to first we have to practice in one side, then this other side, other leg we have to practice. So we uh, uh, we have to practice every day. But uh, this is uh, telling only two uh, two bandhas, no? All the three bandhas are used here. Here, uh, in the steps steps uh, they mentioned one first mula bandha, then jalandhara bandha, but uh, by Automatically, that uh, Udiyana Bandha will take place. Okay, okay, okay. So, second is Sanmukhi Mudra. So, we are all familiar with the Sanmukhi Mudra, six face, uh, six fingers hang uh, gesture. So, this is mainly used to withdraw our uh, senses outside the world. So, when we do the meditation, uh, we use this Sanmukhi Mudra to. Uh, uh, cover all our uh, fingers. We have to cover our uh, eyelids and the nose and the uh, fingers between the uh, upper lip and the below the nose. The one is uh, lower lip. So this is how we have to do the Sanmukhi Mudra. Mainly we are using this Mudra to do the meditation. To avoid the outside uh, uh, noises, we use this to avoid the concentration, then it is useful for the meditation. Then here, one more benefit is suffering from head headaches. Next, we will uh, discuss about yoga mudra. Here, yoga mudra is a uh, yoga gesture. Uh, we all know this. Uh, uh, this is a kind of sashangasana. So, how to perform this mudra? First, we have to sit in Patmasana. Then, we have to ca catch hold of the right wrist by the left hand. It should be behind. Uh, behind, we have to hold this uh, right wrist. Then we have to bend backward while inhaling. Then bend forward while exhale. So we have uh, try to touch the floor by forehead. So this is how we have to perform this mudra. Benefit of this mudra is uh, tones of nervous system. Then uh, especially for the lumbar sacral nervous. Then it's a seminal weakness. Then it is cues the abdominal and pelvic uh, area. I mean, diseases related to the abdomen and the pelvis. So it's very benefit for this. Next is Mahabandha. So this is great lock. Here, Mahabandha, here, uh, if you see this picture, we are uh, doing both Mola Bandha, Udiyana Bandha, and Jaladra Bandha. Uh, the steps how to do first, we have to sit in. Uh, uh, Batma, not Batmasana, first we have to take the left heel. It, the left uh, left leg should heel should touch the perineum of the right uh, leg. Then place this right 
put on the left side thigh this is how one should one feet should touch perineum other one uh, above the thigh this is how we have to be uh, sit then we have, first we have to engage jalandhara bandha first we have to bend uh, forward a uh, chin lock then uh, inhale exhale completely then engage jalandhara bandha after this we have to engage udiyana uh, bandha abdomen we have to take in and the up navel should go up so we are uh, directing the energy upwards towards the uh, heart region then we have to engage mula bandha contracting the anus muscles we have to engage mula bandha after completing this we have to release all the bandhas in the reverse order first we have to release the uh, anus muscles mula bandha after that udiyana bandha after that uh, at the end we have to release the chalandra bandha this is how we have to perform this maha bandha so benefits of maha bandha this uh, stops the upward motion of all the nadis and that uh, all the prana is going upward it, which means it's a leading to death that uh, uh thing is we are uh, stopping here then giver of great siddhis mahabandha releases one from the attachments uh, outside world at the bondage of the death then prana flows through sushumna which is means all three nadis here uh, when we uh, redirect all this three uh, bandhas so it is uh, opening of the sushumna nadi through in ida and pingala so it, it this is called uh, triveni sanagama karas kedar kedar means agna agna chakra the place of lord shiva so these are all the benefits for mahabandha next is mahaveda so here uh, mahaveda without uh, mahabandha and the mahamudra we can't practice the mahaveda if you need uh, risk, i mean if you need that full result we have to practice along with the mahaveda one should practice mahaveda along with the mahabandha and mudra so how to perform this the same uh, we as we have to sit in mahabandha mahabandha means uh, you know uh, we have to engage all three uh, bandhas that is how we have to sit then resting on the floor um, it's kind of a padmasana then resting the hands on the ground we have to lift our body uh, how it is showing in the image we have to lift our body slowly like this then we have to engage the uh, bandhas here that uh, while doing this veda uh, maha veda we are sending this uh, uh, prana to idan pingala then it will slowly start opening uh, penetrating to the sushumna so mahaveda we have to uh, to get the desired result we have to practice uh, maha mudra and maha bandha along with mahaveda without uh, mahaveda we can't get the desired result so we uh, have to practice all together uh, the, these three are uh, together how to perform the mahaveda here we have to sit the padmasana i mean where we can engage all three bandhas that uh, that is what here mentioned sitting with maha bandha so we have to uh, rest our both hands on the ground then lift our body slowly uh, how it is showing in the image we have to lift uh, our body uh, from the ground slowly then we have to engage the bandhas here uh, we, while doing this practice all this uh, nadis are uh, pranas going through uh, ida and pingala then it will uh, opens the sushumna nadi that is the, our ultimate goal to Uh, open the sushumna nadi then uh, by practicing this mahaveda we have this following benef benefits giver of great siddhis then if you practice regularly i uh, will uh, become eng like uh, destroy the old age then gray hair shaking of the body then it will increase the appetite then uh, one is practicing regularly will overcome the death uh, conquer ac accomplishments of anima then we 
Okay, after Mahaveda, we'll see about uh, Kachari Mudra. Here, Kachari Mudra, it's a symbolic gesture of moving freely in the infinite space of Brahman. So, once we uh, practice uh, this Kachari Mudra, we'll uh, reach the ultimate Brahman. That is what here it mentioned, how to perform this Kachari Mudra. So, here, uh, um, this is first, uh, we have to take a smooth and sharp, clean instrument. Uh, using that instrument, we have to cut the perineum of the tongue. It is like at the end, we have this perineum uh, minute thing. So, we have to cut this little. It's a kind of a thickness of the air. We have to cut. After this, we have to apply rock salt or yellow myropollen powder. Uh, we have to rub. Once we cut it, we have to rub on this using this. On seventh day, we should cut the... Uh, once it, uh, we have to cut again. So, like this, we have to do this uh, for regularly six months. After end of the six months, uh, why we are doing this? When, when we cut this perineum, then the tongue will get lengthened. For this, this, we are doing this regularly for six months. After this uh, six months, we can uh, uh, easily, uh, using the tongue, we upwards, we can touch uh, on the upper palate between the eyebrows. We, are, uh, we can able to touch the space between the eyebrows. Then we can accomplish this Keshari Mudra. It is called a Bioma Chakra also. So this is our, uh, if you see the image, first stages like this. One, uh, for regularly doing the same practice. Second stage, third, the finally will uh, will able to touch the uh, upper palate between the eyebrows. So this is the Keshari Mudra. We shouldn't practice this. This is an uh, advanced uh, mudra. Then, benefit of this Keshari mudra is uh, uh, yogi one who is uh, performing this regularly, uh, that uh, he will uh, overcome this uh, death and old age and uh, diseases, poisons, uh, everything will uh, get uh, override. Then, here, uh, the yogi who is performing this, uh, uh, he won't. Uh, uh, get the sleep or hunger, thirst, uh, nothing. He is free from karma, then gains mastery over the indriyas. Then protection from the snake bites, uh, which means even if the poisonous snake is biting, then he won't uh, get uh, affected. So he is uh, uh, free from this uh, snake bites. If the yogi strings uh, soma rasa by sitting with tongue uh, turn the backwards mind concentration. I mean, if he is uh, performing this regularly, if he drinks uh, somaras also, there is no doubt he will conquer the death within 15 days. So here next is Mula Bandha. So Mula Bandha is the root lock. Uh, here uh, it is a uh, uh, Muladhara Chakra Brahma Granthi, where we are performing the Mula Bandha. So, how to perform the uh, Mula Bandha by contracting the anus, Apanavayu. Uh, by, uh, by naturally, Apanavayu is uh, going downward. But what we are doing by practicing this Mula uh, uh, Bandha, we are uh, force, forcefully redirecting this uh, Apanavayu to upwards. Benefits of performing this Mula Bandha. So, uh, when we practice this regularly, we will become again uh, I mean, overcome the old age then uh, the main ultimate goal here is to uh, awakening the kundalini so kundalini uh, is uh, usually sits in the muladhara chakra so when we practice regularly uh, heated i mean by this practice uh, well heated by this means awakens the kundalini then it is enters the brahmanadi I mean, brahmanadi is part of the shushuna nadi once we awaken this uh, Kundalini, and so it will uh, enters into the Brahmanadi. This is the benefit of Mola Bandha. Then uh, next one is Udiyana Bandha. Udiyana Bandha is basically abdominal lock. Here, uh, Manipura Chakra and the Vishnu Granthi. So here, how to perform this abdominal lock? We have to uh, pull back the abdominal region and our navel region and uh, upwards we have to rise the navel region upward then we are uh, redirecting the inward in uh, inward prana on the to the upward uh, heart region here this is that's why it is mentioned upward energy lock flow 
the prana to the heart chakra opening the vishnu granthi so here in the image mentioned first we have to pull back then up upward so by practicing the udyana mantra uh, here uh, we uh, benefits prana flows into the sushumna nadi and then same mentioned in the mula bandha became young again by practicing the six months regularly udyana mantra uh, will conquer the death that is why it is like uh, one of the best uh, bandha among all three uh, other bandhas and also one who is performing regularly will get free from attachments will we'll get liberation the next is jalandhara bandha here jalandhara bandha is chin lock vishnu vishnu vishuddhi chakra and rudra granthi so here what we are doing by doing the chin lock we are redirecting the energy inward and the upside then how to perform this uh, jalandhara bandha contracting the throat the chin should firmly lock on the chest benefits of uh, performing this jalandhara bandha is the uh, same uh, mentioned in the udyana bandha old age and premature death then uh, contracting this uh, uh, ida and pingala it easily enters into sushumna nadi uh, the ultimate goal here is to awaken the kundalini so uh, here uh, in jalandhara bandha other 16 energy points we have that also uh, will get activated when we practicing this chin lock vishuddhi chakra is the best among all chakras so here we are activating directly the vishuddhi chakra then uh, here yeah it controls it is somehow relate i mean connected with the pituitary gland, uh, gland. so when we practice this then uh, it controls the pit pituitary gland ಸುಖಿನಶ್ಯಂತುಖಭಾ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ